So today I want to talk about the Smooth Boost control system, kind of what it is and what it isn't. So the Smooth Boost system is a bypass valve controller. So you can take, it'll take things like uh, pedal position and then control the amount of air bypass that the supercharger sees. So for example, if you had a Smooth Boost control installed on your system, on your car, um, it's a, a uh, actuator that will control the amount of bypass. So if you have it at max and it comes with this little dial deal, this is just a linear potentiometer. So if you have it on max and your pulley setup will produce 18 PSI, then the bypass valve, as soon as you go full throttle, the bypass valve will go fully shut. No air will be bypassed and any air ingested will be compressed and ingested by the engine. If you have this uh, at 50% or somewhere in between, so we'll go over this a little bit later, then when you go full throttle, that bypass valve will stay partially open, whatever percentage uh, or, or setting you have on the, the trim pot here. And this is supplied with the smooth boost. The main issue here is that if you dial it down, then your power production throughout the entire RPM range, every gear and all the way down the track or during your run will be down. And, and that's good if, if that's what you intend. What we normally want is maximum power when we've got traction um, or, or rather just maximum power for the traction that we have. So the faster that you're going, the higher the wheel speed is, the more boost the, the vehicle will take without spinning the tire. So what we do is we take can inputs from the vehicle we just passively listen. Uh, the inputs that we use are, are pedal position, engine RPM, uh, front and rear wheel speeds. And then we can build boost ramps. So that as soon as you whack the throttle, we can say bring the boost in from a low level to full boost from 20 to 60 mile an hour. Or we can go from a mid level to a high level. Or we can just have it at fixed or, or any variation. The Smooth Boost is an incredible system because you can pulley your setup for maximum power all the time. And then you can just trim um, the boost level that the surface will hook or that you want to run based on you know, the ethanol content or the fuel that you have, etc. So let's do a couple of pulls on this car. This is about a, a 975 wheel horsepower uh, LT4 with a Maggi 2650 and the smooth boost system on it. So we'll do a couple of polls and then we'll talk about kind of what we did and what we're seeing. So we did four different pulls with the smooth boost controller and the factory supplied smooth boost knob. So this allows for fixed boost levels below what your pulley setting is. So if you had an 18 PSI pulley setting, you could go anywhere from 18 down to nearly zero. So this particular car does make about 18 pounds of boost. Again, it's a Maggie 2650. And so here's the first pull with the full bypass. So this is the bypass valve fully open. So we go full throttle and here we're about 2,369 RPM. You can see on the bottom scale there. Then we get up through, uh, we're, we're climbing an engine RPM. Again, this is all full throttle and you'll see boost on the top graph is 0.8 PSI. Again, this is bypass valve uh, fully open. So the absolute minimum boost that this setup can make. So as we climb through, you'll see that we get to a peak of about three and a half, three point six 3.6 PSI. Then we set it to 
So there's uh, little indicators on the factory knob. We set it to knob level three. So that's that. So again, here you'll see with the bypass valve fully open, it was making 0.9 PSI here. And with the bypass valve at 30% or the knob set to three, you're making about 1.8 PSI. So you'll see how the different boost level is here. So at setting three, you're making five and a half PSI. With the bypass valve fully open, you're making three and a half PSI. Then we did 60%. So 60%, you can see a significant jump. So it's not linear, the boost that you'll get by, by knob position. So you got to take that into account. But I mean, you'd know that really quickly by driving your car and checking data logs. You'd, you'd get an understanding of what um, knob setting creates what boost level. So again, this is 0%, here's 30%, and here's 60%. So to give you an example, up here, where we were making three and a half pounds of boost, that made 489 horsepower. Where we made five and a half pounds of boost, we made 556 horsepower. And then where we made 14 pounds of boost, we made 842. So obviously you could go anywhere in between, but these are fixed uh, bypass valve openings, basically creating a fixed power level throughout the race in every gear. And at every mile per hour, you're either going to be, you know, down or up, but it's fixed unless you wanted to reach over and try to turn the knob while you were driving, which obviously doesn't make sense. And then here is bypass valve fully closed. So 100% as if you didn't have a smooth boost controller on the vehicle at all. So you see here at 3,100, we're making 13 pounds of boost. And then up here. We're making 18 and a half, and that was 940 wheel horsepower on this pole. So these are the different boost levels and knob settings, like what knob setting will achieve what boost level and what power level. So you can see it's, it's really an awesome system because you can pull it for the maximum power, and then if you tuned it on race gas, you could have it maxed out all the time. And if you had it on pump gas or some, you know, poorer fuel or, you know, uh, street tires or something, you can turn the boost down. And the really cool thing about this is this doesn't require tune changes. So you can just set the knob. Once it's tuned for maximum boost level and you're sure that you have the appropriate mods for the fuel system, et cetera, et cetera, you can always turn it down without making any tune changes. So that's a, a pretty neat thing. The, the real benefit here is when you're able to achieve this maximum boost level at the higher RPM or the higher vehicle speeds, but you're able to ramp it in so that as soon as you hit the throttle, let's say you were cruising at 40 mile an hour. So here we're 55 miles an hour, as you can see by the uh, middle graph here. If you just whack the throttle right now and you were on setting here, this red setting, you'd be making one pound of boost. And if you didn't have a smooth boost controller, you'd be making 12 and a half. So the difference is hundreds of foot pounds of torque. So this is the difference between knocking the tires off and spinning or not. So in another video, we'll talk about how the Kaizen Relay ramps this in so you get the best of both worlds. You get peak power where you want it and not too much power when you don't. So stay tuned for that.